call Allah Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakak Radash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great mills on the well. I am not a member, however, I've entered into the labors. Peace and mercy to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm going to call this. Maybe it'll come to me through the spirit, but, uh, you know, that is the problem with these devils the pride and the arrogancy. Uh, even as a nation, the scriptures tell you, and I'm in transit, by the way, so I'm going to do my best to grab, pull over and grab some scriptures. Uh, or I may just read them at a lightning, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. So it won't be as if I, you know, don't have anything to pull. Um, so, uh, that the scriptures tell you that this, this devil, uh, he, he first of all, he, he won't stay home and the pride of his heart has deceived him. Right, their their hope is in vain things, uh, and especially wanting the gift that was given to us, that was always promised to our forefather, uh, uh, Jacob, who he passed down to. I'm sorry, to Isaac, and he passed down to Jacob, um, on to the twelve tribes, which is immortality. Which you know, if you have any understanding, you know, you give up the ghost in many instances, in in, in many different lifetimes. But in the very end, uh, the scriptures tell you the Lord has promised. Israel, all of Israel immortality and even you know two-thirds will still die on this side but spirits spirits live forever they are a ball of fire their energy energy is transferred and not destroyed so let's have a look see all right let's have a, a listen uh what this devil is doing up to 500 years and spends one million dollars a week to achieve his goal Brian Johnson, this American entrepreneur since 2019, has set himself the goal of rejuvenating, and more recently, of simply not dying. He only eats vegetables, he does not drink coffee, no tea, no alcohol, no milk, no meat, no fast food, or sweets. He only eats once a day, and takes more than 60 pills every day. So much that he does sports all the time, his skin regenerates, and he seems younger than a 19-year-old teenager. He leads such a strict life, some people think he's crazy. Even a clinic is in his house to regenerate his skin and rejuvenate his heart. No, you see, so he is crazy. It ain't no some people think. He is crazy. Uh, and all of that money, a million dollars a week, that's four million dollars a month <laughs> to look like a middle-aged lesbian. But hey, whatever. Go for it, G. Anyway, uh, let me get my first one. The first thing I thought of uh, was Second Maccabees seven and fourteen, where uh, our people were being forced to bow down to idols and eat swine's flesh, and you know, eat these things that were abominable and forsake the law. And the mother, and I believe it's her seven sons, um, were being tortured to death in, in horrific ways. And um, you know, they died manfully. And the last one, the last brother, was telling him, you know, I, it, I was good that I did. Uh, you know die by the uh, hands of men let me just let me just get it all right because they they eat saw eat them have no resurrection of life which the promise that was given to us we do uh but i'm gonna go straight to it and read it if you have not read this chapter it is it, it's infuriating but it's also inspiring um and it kind of makes you just want to go a little bit harder which you know our people willingly eat abominations and they willingly do things uh, that are against, you know, what the Heavenly Father wants us to do. But back then, our people were giving up their lives for something that, you know, uh, uh, in this day and age, would scoff at what we get. They pay for it, actually. <laughs> Crab balls and everything. Um, so let me read it uh, straight to the point. Second Maccabees. 7 verse 14 all right so uh, so when he was ready to die he said thus it is good being put to death by men to look for hope from yahweh to be raised up again by him as for thee thou shalt have no resurrection to life right so that is the promise that we were given right and i'm gonna uh, go to actually romans 9 i got that already i think i put it in that note but it reminds me uh, this is for us the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, and those who may look like the heathen, but this doctrine, this this word, it resonates with your spirit. Um, I'm talking to you. What did I say? Romans 9 and 3, and I'm going to read on down. Okay, so this is a Paul 
speaking right here. For I wish that I could myself. I'm sorry. Yeah, for I wish I could. For goodness gracious. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises, whose are the fathers and whom as concerning the flesh Hamashiach came. Yahweh Shai came in the flesh and for his nation, for the nation of Israel. Okay, that is why he was telling the disciples, go not unto the, the heathen, right? But go and find the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And they were scattered among the many different nations. That is why he was in uh, uh, Cappadocia and they were in, in, um, in many of the the, the Greek speaking and Latin and, and Roman uh, uh, Roman territories and vassal states. Okay, that's why you have a book of Corinthians. Well, you have the book of Romans, as you can see. Right, just as we before we uh, awaken thought of ourselves as Americans, all right, nationality we are American, but uh, uh, by bloodline, your race is an Israelite. To achieve his goals, Brian Johnson has a routine that he does not disobey. He wakes up at five in the morning, a one hour sports session consisting of 25 exercises. Then he drinks a green juice with collagen and other supplements. In the evening, he applies seven creams to his skin before undergoing dental care. Finally, he wears glasses to block the blue light and goes to bed at 8.30 in a dark- This nigga looks crazy. For four million dollars a week, and this is the blessing, even under the curses, we look better than these devils without, with, 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 with a fraction. I'm sorry, he said one million a week, so four million a month. Insanity. That is insane, and he looks terrible. Um, you know, another thing now, you know, uh, let me get for Isaiah 45 and 17, since we're talking about the resurrection of life, right? World without end. So let's get that real quick. This is the promise that was given to us, right? That Esau wants so bad, they want, and this dude is simply a, a, a microcosmic example of of what the entire nation is trying to do uh what their entire nation is trying to do all right they want that carbon copy of immortality they want to fulfill their version of a blessing that is why every time you see something they got a version of it <laughs> why why don't seeds and watermelons have grapes i mean have, <laughs> damn let me go <laughs> why don't watermelons and grapes have seeds why do they have these fake versions of things like the real thing was just fine they always try to recreate their own you know kind of you know excuse my friends their own bullshit version of something that ends up killing people causing cancers causing all kind of ailments and illnesses <sighs> man she let me get straight to the point on isaiah 45 and the highlighted portion 17 and 18 um but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. And guess who has the complete opposite? Guess who is going to be brought to shame? Guess who is going to be confounded? Guess whose world is coming to an end, right? For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And like I said, this fool, this... uh. <laughs> four million dollar a month uh, middle aged lesbian look alike uh, he, he's just a, 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 a microcosm of what these devils are trying to do as a nation on a larger on a world scale immortality you know, forever so they can keep all and, and all that they've gained by by filthy lucre's sake by rape rob and murder they can hold on to but it, it's at the end of the day, it's not going to go well. It won't fare well for you. Because as it is written, so shall it be. So, I think that was my last scripture. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, here we go. According, here's, here's a beautiful thing about it. So let me get Proverbs 19 and 23. 
you know, since we're on the subject, since we're sticking, I guess the, the line is, you know, things that are according to the promise of salvation, uh, uh, and, you know, and, uh, and everlasting life. So let's get Proverbs 9. Did I say that? 19. Proverbs 19 and 23. I'm all over the place today. 21. Yeah, and this will be the last scripture we get. Okay, so straight to the point. The fear of the Lord tended to life. And he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. Now, the gift that we are given is the gift of faith. The gift and the ability to understand these scriptures. To give, We are given a playbook. And we just stick to it, and the Lord will do as He what He says He will do. And if he, we don't stick to it, the Lord gonna do what He said He was gonna do. As we are living proof currently right now in under these curses, uh, but they're being lifted off of us. But you see, we are given this gift. We can pray to the Lord. We can understand these dark sayings and these parables and develop a healthy fear of the Lord and that will lead to protection which leads to salvation and this is not the promise that was given to them so their makeshift uh, uh, quote unquote salvation their makeshift blessing in the end it will fail because it's supposed to there's no way in hell that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to allow these devils to continue on and go to other planets and, and, and fuck everything else up as they've done with this earth. So, uh, with that being said, man, I just, you know, wanted to grab... Is that it? I think that was it. Let me... I, I think that's all. I'll let this finish out and that'll be it. So, yeah, Shalom. Dark room. Every detail is essential in his daily life. He wants to live up to 500 years and spends $1 million a week to achieve his goal.